Welcome to the land of Arcadia, a land filled with wild magics, mystical creatures, and epic heroes. These adventurers are trained for their futures at prestigious four-year questing schools known as universities. But not all heroes graduate or attend college, and in Arcadia, the best of the rest came to be known as the All Arcadians! Our story begins as many tales of fantasy and magic do in a seedy pub known as the Constitution Check. Inside, a hero of wit and cunning is in the midst of one of the world's greatest challenges, a job interview. So, your name is... The Becky? Actually, it's to Becky. There's an apostrophe. Oh, like a contraction? Is it short for something? Yes, uh, it's short for The Becky. Right. Well, your qualifications look great. You majored in rangering at the University of Arcadia with a minor in theoretical spellcasting? Oh, sorry, that's a theoretical minor in spellcasting? So, what, you imagined you had a minor in college? Yeah. I feel like that would have been more impressive. It would have. Anyway, uh, you have great references and your answers to my screening questions were excellent. I just, uh... I can't seem to find the copy of your diploma or your questing license. Yes. Well, see, those are also kind of theoretical. I don't understand. What year did you graduate? Strictly speaking, I never graduated. What? But it says here you attended university with a full scholarship. I did. For a while. But then my advisor sort of changed alignments and fled the university in disgrace. Somehow they got it in their heads that I was in league with him, so they pulled my scholarship and I never finished. I see. But let me tell you, I imagine my theoretical junior and senior years would have been chock full of great on-the-job experience. Okay, the Becky. It's to Becky. Look, kid, you know the law. Our organization can't hire unlicensed questers. But I'm more than qualified to handle this. I'm sure you are, but I'm afraid my hands are tied. Please, it's been my dream to be an adventurer since I was a kid, but nobody will hire me. Have you tried Monster? Not recently. Hey, Jeff! Got any jobs for me? No. (sighs) Nothing on Monster. (laughs) Well, what's the point? I've been at this for months and nothing. (sighs) Without a degree, I'm never going to get a job. Thanks for your time. (sighs) To Becky, wait. Meet me in the back corner in five minutes. Bring beer. Huh? I said I'm sorry, but I can't help you. (sighs) Buy me a beer and meet me in the back corner. Okay, thanks anyway. Why are you whispering? Because I'm trying not to blow my cover, dummy. Beer corner, five minutes. Oh, I get it. Okay, bye again. Okay, bye, stranger whom I've never met. Wait, that's not a good cover, is it? We just did a whole interview. Dang, let me try again. Just buy the beer. Okay. The interviewer gets up and heads to a dark corner of the pub. Tabeki gets beverages and joins her. Here's your dang old beer. Hey, who are you anyway? Shh. For the love of gods, keep your voice down. My name is Carl. I've actually been looking for you, Tabeki. What? Why? Also, your name is Carl? Like, for real? For real. You've been making a lot of noise around town, asking for adventuring jobs without a license. You're lucky you haven't been picked up by the guards. Is Carl like a family name or something? Forget about that. I'm trying to hire you. Would you focus up? Oh, right. Continue. Carl. I'm not really an interviewer. I'm actually a fence. Oh my gods! I can't believe it! A fence?! Go figure! You don't know what a fence is, do you? Sure don't. I'm a middleman. See, the guilds sometimes get more work than they can handle. And when that happens, they send the work my way. Off the books. Savvy? I sure do. Instead of offering me a real job, you're saying the best I could hope for is to grovel underneath the guild folks' notice and nibble off their table scraps like a dog? Exactly. You in? Bark, bark! What's the quest, oh, Carl? Not so fast, kid. If you don't finish the quest, I don't get my cut. So no suicide missions. You'll need a team. Actually. What? Well, 
Coincidentally, my old accomplice, Obelis, is sitting right over there. And also coincidentally, she too is an unlicensed adventurer looking for off-the-books work. If you could get her on board, it would be a start. But I'm not handing out this quest to any less than three adventurers. Got it? Got it. Why don't you introduce me to this Obelis? Sure thing. Obelis to Becky. Hey. Ah! How did she do that? A half-demon has appeared next to Tebeki in the booth. She examines Tebeki with a disinterested expression. You know, you two have a lot in common. Obelis used to attend the University of Arcadia, too. Until, uh, the incident. The incident? Ooh, that sounds really interesting. Oh, for sure. It's actually critical backstory. Does she like to talk about it? I don't like to talk about it. She doesn't like to talk about it, no. Wow, what a hook! That's the sort of thing that makes me want to tune in again. Tune into what? Hey, Opolis. <laughs> Jeff says you owe him 30 gold from last month's tab. He said what? Ooh, this is going to be good. Here's your 30 gold. Yes! Oh, gods! Is she trying to tear his face off? She sure is. I've never met anyone half as vicious as Obelis. I summon the mystic arts. Magic, 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 magic! Oh my gods! Can she do magic? I mean, yeah. Didn't you just hear her saying magic? Is that all it takes? If you know what you're doing. Blah! Take that! Holy cats! Did she just cast poison flame on his kidneys? What am I, her character sheet? Ask her yourself! Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, Obelis, did you cast poison flame on... <sighs> you know what? She looks busy. I'll check on that later. Obelis is a wild card to Becky. Keep her in check and she'll be a real asset to your team. And now, we'll be right back after this message from our sponsors, Sexy Hackers. Hey, are you tired of laundry? <laughs> yeah, me too. Luckily, there's a solution. <laughs> Throw your old, used clothes away. They're no good anymore. And get yourself a brand new wardrobe at SexyHackers.com. Your one-stop shop for all new, stellar designs. SexyHackers.com. Ooh, nice shirt. And we're back. When the fighting had finally concluded, Tebeki dislodges the unruly Obelis, and Jeff the Monster is rushed off to be tended to by a local healer. After a drink or two to calm down, the unlikely duo come to terms on their future adventuring. You can keep the gold. I get all the vital organs and bitter tears. Deal? I guess. Just then, the faithful barkeep draws the new partner's attention with a groan. Oh boy. Not her again. Who? Shoshana. What's a Shoshana? Patrons of the bar, bow down to your goddess. What am I looking at here? She was looking at a halfling, clad in bubblegum pink and staring daggers at the patrons of bar. I hate Shoshana. Shoshana was accidentally cursed by a first year at the University of Arcadia. And now she sh thinks she's some sort of a god. <laughs> we all hate her. Bow down before Shoshana, meek mortals. Bartender, prepare a tribute of your finest wine for your goddess. And another bowl of that ambrosial text mix. Right away, your majesty. I serve a lot of nutcases, but she takes the cake. I actually remember her from school. She was a rogue major, but she never finished. Three guesses why. You, mortal, avert your gaze so I may pick your pocket. Well, crazy or not, we're not exactly putting together the A-team over here. If she's a dropout, she's perfect for our group. Swallowing her pride, Tebeki approaches the outspoken rogue. Stop, heathen! If you dare approach me, prepare to offer tribute to the goddess. Don't worry, I accept all major credit cards. Almighty oh, Shoshana, our prayers are answered! What do you mean? Well, we knew that if we worshipped you and offered prayers unto you, that you would come to join us on our quest. Right, Obelis? Sure. <laughs> oh, mortals all! Take note, this is how a goddess deserves to be treated. I shall join you on your quest. <clears throat> Not that the goddess didn't hear your prayers, but what quest? No clue. But now I've got enough people for Carl to hire us! That is excellent news! What's a Carl? Suddenly, the monster known as Jeff reappears at the pub door. Where is that crazy demon biznatch? Calm down, Jeff. The Constitution Check's orc bouncer steps between the enraged monster and Obelis. Oh no! Jeff's back! 
and it looks like he means business. I mean business. See? Okay, Jeff, remember the steps. Deep breaths, go to your happy place. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh no, what do we do? The goddess thinks we should stand and fight. Here's your checks, Mick Shoshana. Oh, cool. The goddess thinks we should sit this one out. We can't let him tear Obelisk to pieces. Don't worry, partner, I'll protect you! Thanks, but I think the bouncers got this one. Sure enough, by the time Tip Becky turned around to survey the commotion, Jeff the Monster was laying subdued at the bouncer's feet. Holy moly! Did the bouncer just take out that eight-foot monster by himself? We have to go talk to him. Come on. Well, next time, don't let things escalate, and I won't have to put you in a headlock. Now hand over your chip. We'll talk about this at the meeting tomorrow. Say there, friend. What's a tall, handsome orc like you doing hanging out in a place like this? I work here. Well, pal, with skills like that, you must be in high demand. Are you paying your way through school working at this pub? No, I never went to school. What? No one recruited you for a barbarian squad? You could have easily been a walk-on success story. How did you end up working here of all places? I don't know. I used to be a barbarian. Now I'm a bouncer. Neat! I used to be a ranger major, and now I'm a disgraced ranger major. I used to be a six-year-old child's favorite doll. Now I'm a sentient half-demon sorcerer. Is that true? I don't know. Maybe. Shoshana was a goddess, and now she is a goddess! Huh. Well, what's your name, Barbarian Bouncer? I don't have one. What do they call you here? Barbarian Bouncer. That seems a little long. If you're going to join our team, you'll need a nickname. I never said I was going to We could call him Barry. That's good, but I think we can do better. What about Bouncy? Mm, no. Do I get a say in this? Mm, no. Shoshana's got it. He's a barbarian, right? Then we should call him Barb. Oh, that's the one! What do you think? Uh, uh, I don't like it at all. Barb it is. All right, Barb, quit already so we can get going on this quest, huh? I don't, I'm not. <sighs> fine. Hey, Jeff, I quit. Okay. The bartender's name is also Jeff? Yup, they're brothers. Well, that makes even less sense. It sure does. Hey, Jeff, can you cover me here until I get back? Sure, man. No sweat. Cool. So, we good? We good. Neat! To the next place! And so, with all the main characters assembled, established, and backstories properly teased, our heroes set off down the road toward a new life of questing. Who knows what adventure... Uh, where are we going? Horse feathers! Turn it around! We never got the quest from Carl. What quest will our newly formed team almost certainly fail to complete? Find out next time on The All Arcadians!